Mom, don't leave me alone. Don't go. Don't be afraid. I'm not leaving. No, she could suffocate if this continues. Stay calm. The elevator is working now. President, are you okay? The elevator was just fixed. What happened to Assistant Ku? She had claustrophobia. I'll take her back to rest. Maintenance department failed in their duties this time. If this happens again, I will dismiss the entire department. Why haven't you come back yet? Did Mr. Pei find it out? Mr. Mr. Pei? Ku Yin, what are you hiding from me? Mr. Mr. Pei, I don't understand what you're saying. Why haven't you come back yet? Did Mr. Pei find it out? Ku Yin? What have you done that I shouldn't find out? Yanchi, you're going to get me in serious trouble. I... I did a painting part-time job during my vacation. What I did is unrelated to the company. It won't affect the company's interest. Mm. Really? Have you found the owner of the necklace? No, not yet. Well, that necklace probably... Probably belongs to a hotel guest. Probably. Where is the necklace now? I... I thought it belonged to some hotel guest, so I got rid of it. I don't know where it ended up. You don't know. I'll give you three days to find it out and hand it over. Otherwise, you will bear the consequences. You are staying here tonight. Mr. Pei? I don't want to repeat. Kuyin. If you don't hand over this necklace, that means the person from that night must have something to do with you. Grandma gave me that necklace. I can't give it up. There's a way. Buy a similar and keep one online. That could work. What is it? President, Miss Lee, the daughter of Lee Group, said that she was at the hotel that night too. And she knows who owns the necklace. Lee Whaler. Miss Lee? Miss Lee? You cannot enter without a reservation. Miss Lee? Miss Lee? You can't go inside. Miss, I'm sorry. You cannot enter without a reservation. <gasps> That's hilarious. I am the future wife of Sun Chuan CEO. How do you stop me? What's going on here? Are you okay? I'm fine, Mr. Pei. Lee Whaler. Who gave you the right to touch my stuff? Xiao, I heard you were searching for the woman from that day. So I rushed over here. Do you know who it is? Actually, it was me. I just reached into the country that day. Had too much to drink with friends. And accidentally entered the wrong room. I didn't plan on telling you. After all, this is also related to my reputation. Who know there's someone trying to take advantage what of it. What does the necklace look like? Oh no, oh, Liang didn't mention necklace design. Thanks, God. First time to see someone rush to sell her herself up. Sha, sure. I drank too much that day. I really can't remember clearly. Did you find the necklace? Yes, Mr. Pei, I found it. She had it over so decisively. Maybe I was wrong about her. Show her way out. Inform Chairman Lee that Lee Whaler doesn't know the rules and are making trouble at Sun Chuan. If this happens again, I will reconsider our collaboration with the Lee family. President, Chin Han from the headquarters has arrived in council. He is working on the covering that destroys their surveillance footage. What? One of the top three computer hackers in the world? Chin Han, I heard he never lost. This is terrible. Yanshu, do you think there's still time for me to flee board now? What about America? Maybe even Africa? I'll check the flight ticket. Mr. Pei's power spreads all over the world unless you can buy a ticket to the Mars. Don't panic. 
That video has been completely destroyed by me. Even if God arrives, there is no way to fix it. Really? Certainly. You know who I am. Trust me. Can it be fixed? The person who ruined the video used extremely sophisticated methods. The video is almost completely destroyed. Wow, your entry is so reliable. But who am I? Mr. Pei, don't worry. Give me some more time. I will definitely get it done. So, sorry. I'm a little hungry. There are some chocolates left by the candy maker. Go get some in the conference room and bring me the meeting documents here. Okay, Mr. Pei. President, we'll find the person who dropped you. Bring him in. Mr. Pei, I was only responsible for drugging. I don't know anything else. I really don't know who the woman is. It's over. If Mr. Pei finds out, it will only end badly for me. Take him away. Send him to prison. I would like to see how much longer you can hold out. Yes! Mr. Pei, please spare me! Mr. Pei! He's nothing but a devil. I'd rather die than let him find out I was the woman that night. Oh, Liang, it's all because of that assistant. She even kicked me out directly, and he's still defending her. What do you think I should do? Since this doesn't work, you have to find another way. I'll follow your lead. Come over. Mr. Pei, this is the document I retrieved for you from Shanghai Pavilion. If you call up blood for the novel had a face, it would look like this. Why are you staring at me? Is there something on my face? Huh? No, not at all. Assistant Goose's affection for me is really obvious now. <laughs> Assistant Goo, I know some natural feelings are beyond your control, but during work, I want you to stay focused. As for private things, <clears throat> let's talk in private. President, Chin Han has finally fixed the video. It has been sent to your computer. We can see it now. Which woman is it? What? The video's been fixed? Assistant Ku, what are you nervous no, about? No, no, Miss Bay. It's over, I'm dumped. Next year, today will be the anniversary of my death memory. What happened? Even Jin Han couldn't fix it. That's cute. Uh, President, I will contact Mr. Hans immediately. He's a top-ranked hacker. The video will definitely be recovered. That's too late. It's been a month already. That woman's belly must be showing pregnancy. Monkey has been skimming for this moment. I must outsmart her. President, shall I find you someone for marriage? <laughs> Sorry. It's mind-blowing. It's marriage, not animal breeding. Where we can find a female every time you want. Assistant Ku, here are the profiles of all marriageable candidates. Is it pay specifically requested that you do the selection? Your monthly bonuses are counting on this. Rest assured, Director Luo, Mr. Pei's natural life decision is also of utmost importance. Off you go. Are you alright? I'm okay, Mr. Pei. I promise to help you find a Mrs. White. I wish you can build a very happy... Are you that eager to see me get married? Why the long face? Maybe I'm not showing enough enthusiasm? This. Take a look at this one. Fair skin, hot legs, totally stunning. 
Barbie like eyes and shadows. What do you think? Not your type? No problem. And then, there's this one. Great in cook and household chores. Even backed. A gold in global culinary competition. Still not impressed? Here's another. This one will surely meet your appetite. A triple threat sings, dances, and plays the violin. A master of poetry, song, and astronomy. Still not satisfied? Huh? It's alright. I have many more here. Come, take a look. That's enough. Get Director Luo here. Okay, Mr. Bay. There goes my bonus. President, got anyone in mind? Tell Ku Yin to bring her household register for marriage registration tomorrow. Assistant Ku, will she agree with it? If she doesn't agree, don't stay at pace. But Mr. Pei, the surveillance happened to be destroyed that night. She also happened to show up at the same time when checking the f Could Assistant Ku come from Madame Liang's team? Hmm. She doesn't have the guts. That's true. Madame Liang is too clever to use someone so stupid. I'm going to tell Ku Yin right now. Dr. Luo, what do you need me for? When you come for work tomorrow, bring your household register along. Go get married with Mr. Pei. What? Assistant Ku, your ability to control your emotions needs further improvement. Mr. Pei, Dr. Luo. What did Director Luo say to you? You are getting married tomorrow. Absolutely not. Why don't you want to? Marriage is in game. Assistant Ku, your marriage to the president is just nominal with a formal agreement. Nominal marriage? What does that mean? From now on, if anyone from the Pei's ask about that night, you must claim you were the women in my room. You truly didn't see the women that night. No, I didn't. It doesn't matter. From this moment, you are the women from that night. But I'm not. Yes, you are. This is your job now. Then, what if I refuse? Marry me or leave Harbor City. Your choice to make. I've heard you recently bought a house. It's not furnished yet. I hope you remain the owner of the house. This woman really wants to refuse marrying me so badly. What is this devil trying to say? He's even after my house now. The choice is yours to make. I... Uh, I agree. Then we'll go get the marriage certificate tomorrow morning. What? You may, Mr. Bay. Lower your voice. Being with him is like walking with a tiger. What kind of twisted fate do you have with Mr. Bay? There's no other way. My entire fortune in life and the house I've worked so hard for are all in the hands of the devil, Mr. Bay. What's your plan now? Steal the household register. What? Are you seriously going to marry him? President, is Assistant Ku of work? Assistant Ku said she went to get her household register from her mother. I'm going out. <laughs> President, your intention can't be hidden from me. Wait until you return to Shanghai Pavilion. You will see a surprise. I am here to safeguard your happiness. Hey, listen, girl. I've been watching you for quite a while. Why do you look like you're up to no good? Let me tell you something. We are a legitimate locksmith company. At the very least, you should provide me some kind of identification. For example... 300 yuan. It's not about the money. 500 yuan. Girl, you might not get what I'm saying. I'm trying to explain. 1,000 yuan? Which door do you want to open? Are you done yet? It's done. If you need help again, just call me. Okay. Sh 
Xu Jing, you didn't lie to me. There's no one at home. Finally find it. Kuyen! Oh, Mr. Pei, what are you doing here? Are you okay? I'm fine. Come with me. Jingyu, if you can really marry the mayor's daughter, then we'll never need to worry about our livelihood. They're back. What should we do? Huh? Why is this door open? Oh no! I hope it's not a burglar. Let's go inside first. You, go check over there. Take a look there. Mr. Pei's mouth cut. Assistant Ku, have you touched enough? Going alone to steal the household register, you are quite bold. Haven't you learned from last time? If something happens next time, you must tell me. Got it. Okay, President. Here we are. Mr. Pei, why are we here? You will live here from today on. Aren't we in a contractual marriage? Yes, we are. But you'll still need to live here. No way. Live together in the same room? I'll expose myself sooner or later. If you refuse to live here, then the bonus is off. Get inside.